What's up, J family? Back again with some more reaction videos for y'all. I hope y'all having a great and blessed day. It is Monday, and I hope you're having a great and blessed week. <gasps> but let's get to this video, y'all. This is Mimo Fila uh, Don Bana. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all, these names. Uh, I'm, I'm probably just overthinking it, but Adabana, Adabana, Adabana. Let's get into this video. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Also, that's dope. That's dope. Already, that's dope. Oh, uh -uh. uh, that's dope. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, that's cool. Hey, I like. Th I like this because it's a different setting. It's not like live. This is actually a music video. It's an actual music video, so it's different. All right. How they gonna put it not in English, bro? <laughs> How they gonna put it not in English? Hold on, hold on. Can I change these captions real quick? It is a caption, bro. Okay, no. All right, it is what it is. We just gonna, we just gonna rock out. Yo, was she the first? Oops, my bad. Was she even the one last time? She looked different. She looked like the. Uh, Hey. She looked different though. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, ah, that's dope. Hey, that's dope. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's dope. I actually really like this. I enjoy this. I like it's different from the last one. Um, it's it's like completely different. Like, the, I thought the other one was a lot more hard. You know, more tough. This one's like a little bit more um, not relaxed, but like I don't know, uh, kind of upbeat, upbeat. Like you can move with it. It's not like just just hard. It's kind of like. You can vibe with it, but it's still got that, that hard little essence of part of it, too. It's kind of, it's really smooth. I like it. I like this. I like that part. Hey. That's dope. That is oh oh whoa, that sounded good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 
I'm sorry for cutting you up, but continue. She said. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I like the words. Nah, I like the lyrics. I like it. My headphones are smoking. My my headphones are smoking. Oh, they hot. They hot. I'm playing. I'm goofy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, that was dope. That was really dope. But, okay. Listen to the lyrics. I kind of caught a glimpse of, like, what it might be saying. Are they, like, basically this is their, like... I don't know what... You know what? If I don't know what something means, just look it up. Adabana. Uh, meaning. What does it mean? Idle flowers. Idle... Necromancy or fruitless flowers. Not necromancy is a fruitless. What? Oh, shoot. They don't bear fruit. That's what you trying to say? Oh, shoot. That's a little different than what I thought. Non fruit bearing flowers. Something that is flashy with no content. Dang. Dang. Okay, that just takes away. So are they saying they are this, like they bear no fruit? Or people were saying that they would bear no fruit? Because like, it said the people that bullied us. It said the people that bullied us. I wish I can go back to that lyric. I don't, oh, do, 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 do they have it? I'm trying to remember the okay. Lyrics, 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 lyrics. I wanna understand this. In English, please. Is this it? I don't look I don't look like it. I just don't look like it. This is not it. Yeah, this is not it. Oh, this is. I put necromancy, bro. Here, let's see what you got. Uh, simply love it. Lyrics, blah, blah, blah. Whenever we are born and going, bloom your flower as a boom, doom. Suddenly we realize everything is overdue. Fool, nobody has any answers. What do you want to do? Nah, nah, nah. To be or not to be. Can show your show yourself as Adabana. It doesn't matter you look miserable or not. Try it again and again. Our life is like a flower, isn't it? Believe yourself. 
what you have done and what you'll do it's ourselves and we are born to be beautiful gone by the time i realize everyone has passed me by poor nobody has any purpose i don't want to believe there, nobody has any purpose i don't want to believe all the world is all the world is a stage play your role okay shout yourself as adabana it doesn't matter if you get if you get an applause or not hmm i like that singing again and again we don't have to be on stage we're here bloom yourself wherever you are you are born and gone can you hear me i'll keep shouting from here till i return to dust i will stand alone in the dark with my pride at the end of time show yourself as adabana doesn't matter whether you look miserable or not try it again my life is like a flower isn't it sure oh okay okay i like that actually this is kind of my interpretation of that. It's like, it's the flower that doesn't bear fruit. But it's like, <sighs> me as a believer, it's like, dang, you don't want to bear fruit. But I don't think that's kind of what they're saying. From my interpretation, it's like, don't focus so much on the fruit itself, but do what you're called to do. It's like the biggest lyric, or oh, for me that really stuck out to me was like, with the applause and not without it. It's like don't focus on that. Do what you're meant to be doing. It's like it's kind of like this idea of like if you do something, you need to get feed, you need to get a reward like that. Like you need to f receive something back to be able to know that you're doing it or to do it. It's like you need the approval, and the approval is like from your fans, your followers, your subscribers. The money you gain, like all the stuff you want back, the attention, but it says like, no, be as Adabana, a fruitless flower that still blooms, but bears no fruit, but it still blooms. It still does what it's supposed to do, even though it bears no fruit. I kind of like that in a way, because it's not, it's, it kind of takes you out of that mindset of like, you need to like, I don't know. It's, to me, it's, it's kind of like switching it from you don't need to focus so much on the fruit itself. I think so many people focus on bearing so much fruit that they forget how the process works. You know, it's like I'm so focused on bearing fruit, but I'm not focusing on the growing stage. I'm not focusing on planting the seeds. I'm not focusing on, you know, using what guys are giving me to use because I'm so worried about the fruit. But if I so focus on the fruit and I'm not focused on like building myself or the growing um, process, the time it takes, honestly, the fruit I bear could be honestly poisonous. It could be horrible because I'm not really focused so much on the process that it takes. You know, as a flower, a flower does not bear fruit, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You see it. You love it. You you see something that was closed off and you see it open itself up to people and it doesn't bear fruit it does not flowers don't bear fruit at all like they don't bear fruit but they still bloom they still do what they're supposed to do they're not like tree that, that bears fruit it blooms and people when people see it they see something beautiful they see something different they see something that they, that attracts them it's that it's that wow that is a beautiful flower and it came from nothing it grew itself up and bloomed, but it did not. I like it. I get it now. I get it now. Cause it is. It's like B is a flower instead of always focusing or like, you know. It's just bloom. You know, be you. Be who you're called to be, and don't focus so much on bearing fruit of like all that stuff that kind of can become a distraction at times. When if you just focus on your focus on what you're called to do, focus on the process, focus on using what you're given, you will still bloom. And even that, even though as a flower it doesn't bear fruit, it kind of does still bear fruit because you can say it bears fruit by the people that marvel at it, the people that see it and like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. When they give to other, it's like a symbolism of something else, some of. Whatever you're going through, you know, people give out flowers and it's amazing. It's like, it connects people. People love flowers. They love, they love them, you know, that doesn't bear fruit, but it still has that essence of like meaning, you know, 
So I like it. I like that a lot actually. I wasn't thinking it from but now I kind of I kind of picked up on it. I like that. I hope that's is my interpretation. I wonder what y'all's interpretation is because I love I love deep meanings of songs, and I like this one. This made me think. I was like, "Don't bear fruit." What the heck? But then again, it's a flower. Flowers don't bear fruit, but they still bloom. They still do what they're called to do without bearing fruit. But even in that, they do at, they do what they're called to do. And still they bloom into something beautiful that people can see and marvel at. That people still go crazy for. That people still spend time and money for. That, oh my gosh, they sit at all when a flower blooms. But it doesn't bear fruit. But they still marvel at it. That's crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. That's actually very crazy. Um, I like that a lot, though. That's cool. That's a cool message. Um, yeah, I very much enjoy this. Um, yeah, that's very cool. I, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. I did, and I definitely love the different like vibe to it. It was definitely different. Definitely, definitely, definitely different. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you stay to the end of the video, I have a new thing I want to add. Um, because I want to start sharing my faith with y'all. So with doing that. I don't know who's watching, but if you stay to the end, that means you really like this video. And I hope you don't click off yet because I would like to say, honestly, if you haven't given your life to Christ or if you even know about Christ, I would love to share that with you, to share at least my testimony with you. And it'll be short. Um, but if you haven't, like, definitely recommend giving your life to Christ and actually seeking out God, you know? It's, life is too short and there's so much meaning to your life. There's so much meaning to your life. And you have a calling, you have a purpose. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you have gone through. I don't know how you were raised or whatever the case may be. But God loves you the way you are. Jesus died for who you are now. Not for what you do, not for the family you raised, none of that. He, he doesn't care about none of that, he just cares for you. So I really love to just share that with you that no matter who you are, your background, what you've done, where you're at in your life, Jesus loves you. 100% he died for you and is calling for you and this wants a relationship with you That's really it. He wants a relationship with you and he died so that you can have a relationship with the one you live in God and I really just want to share that with you because I Hope this finds somebody if it's for you then that's a blessing and if it's not it's okay, but I still want to give out that message because I just want to give you the hope that you need the hope that you're looking for that you might not find in nobody else, that you can't find nobody else, and in anything else, only in Him. So, hopefully, this message touches your heart, and I hope you are able to receive Christ in your life. And if you do, I scream! Woo! If you don't, it's okay. That's just a seed planted, and hopefully, in the future, God, um, you still find Him, and He finds you because He's never running away. He's always near you, He's always calling for you, and He's always there. So, remember that. But I love y'all, J family, and I'm out. Peace. Love, peace, and blessings to you all. Mwah. <gasps>